Okay, guys, welcome back to episode number 29 of Fortnite Save the World. This mission is part of the main quest called Planky's Go Home, and we have to smash three anomalies in a 28 plus zone. So in the last episode, we were able to destroy a rift, and now we want to see if there's any connection between anomalies and rifts. So we're gonna hop into this zone and get it done. All right, so we've got about 20 minutes to get through this zone, find the anomaly, smash it, and take out five encampments. We do have another player on the map. Oh God, there he goes. He just spawned in, I guess. Um, and so that should be helpful. Hopefully, I'm gonna be a little greedy today, but hopefully he takes care of the couple of the encampments while I'm looking for this anomaly. So the anomalies are just like these little shards. Uh, they're kind of a purplish pink color. And then you you break them. Where did my llama go? I swear I just threw it down. Okay, well, we'll do it again. There we go. Uh, you break them and then they fly off into like different directions, like four pieces or five pieces of it. You just gotta go collect the five pieces and boom, you have just smashed an anomaly. Apparently I'm supposed to do three of these in a 28 plus zone, but I've already done two to make this a lot easier for us because it's a pretty basic thing. You have probably seen these anomalies everywhere, but you know me, I like to do my missions right here on the videos, but this won't be the only mission we're doing. We're also gonna hit up page number six of Plankerton and then we'll be about halfway done with Plankerton at that point. All right, so I'm gonna hop on the hoverboard and see if I can't find this anomaly. Ah, here we go. Our very first anomaly, but this will be number three out of three. So we gotta break this thing first. Let me just make sure there's no husk following me. Yeah, it looks like we're clear. So you gotta break this with your pickaxe and it just shoots off in a bunch of different directions. And you go around and pick up the shards. It's literally that easy to do. But some of them are gonna be way up in the air or even off the map a little bit. So you gotta build to some of them, but it's simply this easy right there. So let's go, oh, we do have one that followed us over here. Bad husk. Kaboom! We'll take that, friend. And you got a buddy that's coming with you? No, he's changed his mind. He just saw what happened here and didn't want any part of it. So if we go back to this uh, centerpiece here, you can follow the trails and see where they went. So there's one way up there. Let's go get this one. Up we go. Up we go. And then I think we're going to throw one of these down, one of those down, one of those down, back to that. And boom. And close, lagging. Close. Can you reach it? No, we're going to have to do a little bit more with this, that, and that. There we go. Got it. Piece of cake. Hey guys, my building's getting slightly better, huh? Not bad, not bad. That was a pretty good example of how I could build a little bit better. If you go back to the first episode, and by the way, if you're missing any episodes, there is, Jesus, there is a playlist down below in the description you can go check out. Did not know that he was around me. Uh, there is a description, there's a playlist down below in the description. It's got all the videos to the series in it. Number one through 28 so far. They're in order, you go check them out, man. But yeah, if you want to laugh, maybe go back and watch the first one that I did. Uh, because I did, I did, I don't play Fortnite Battle Royale very often. And at that time, hadn't played it at all. So I had no idea of any of the controls or anything, right? So, completely clueless. It's actually funny to watch. Completely cringy. I'm gonna grab all of these blue glow for no reason, really. All right, well, now that the main storyline part is done, that part of the mission, we actually have to complete the zone, because as you know, if you don't complete the zone, it doesn't give you credit for anything that you do. You can always go into a zone and, like, you know, get resources and leave, and you can keep those resources, but as far as, like, any kind of challenges and quests, main storyline and stuff like that, uh-uh. You gotta do the zone. So we gotta get four more encampments destroyed. There's one straight ahead. These get a little harder as you go along. Sorry, you're going to die now. Uh, they get a little harder as they go along. So this is the second one. Should be pretty easy, but three, four, and five should prove to be kind of challenging. So we'll get those knocked out. I also found a storm chest I'm gonna go back to in a minute and try to complete by myself, although it's always best Jeez, another player is either spawning in or leaving, but that just lagged me half to death. What even was that that just blew up? I don't know, but it seemed to help me out. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I'll take your life, too. And how about yours, big man? That's what you wanted. That's what you got. Now bring out the rest. Bring them out. Okay. All right, calm down. Calm, calm. I was just joking. Is that me exploding stuff? I wonder if... Oh, no, it's her doing it. Stop it. Stop throwing your skulls. I was wondering if I had another hero stacked with this guy and got a slot bonus that was making me do explosive cool things, but I don't think so. I mean, yes, I have heroes stacked with them, but I don't think I get explosions. You take that, lady. All right, I'll take my prize, and then we just have three more of these to destroy. Piece of cake. All right, let's go help this dude out. I got you. 
Bear out! Get him, Bear! Alright, Bear's got no one to get. <laughs> well, that was premature. Alright, Bear, you just hold on. I think they're still coming. There they come, Bear. Have fun. I'll get the ones over here. You get the ones over there. Teamwork makes the dream work. Get them, Bear. Alright, I think the cars are maybe blocking some of your shots here. Let me see if I can take out this car for you, buddy. Oh, and it's done. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Oh, we got some green stuff. That fine. That fine crafting powder. That's good stuff right there. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, that storm chest I was telling you about's over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because we only have two more encampments to destroy. We still got like 12 minutes, so yeah. There's the storm chest right there. Let me take out these dudes first before we start it up, and then it's like you gotta destroy. I think it's like 50 within a time limit, and you'll get like better reward. You're gonna get a re you're gonna get a reward regardless of how well you do. But, if you kill, like, a certain amount within a time limit, you're going to get, like, a really good reward. So, I think we're going to use, like, the bear right now. And I'll do some shooting to help the bear out. This is a 28-plus zone, and the bear's cool and all. But, uh, you know, he's doing less and less damage to the baddies nowadays. He's awesome for, like, Stonewood and most of Blankerton. And still very awesome right now. You know, he's helping me, I'm helping him. But before, he would just do it all by himself really easy. As we get higher in zones, I don't think this dude's getting much strength, you know? I don't think he gains strength just because I go into a new zone. Would be cool though here. We're gonna throw up a hover buddy to help us out now. All right, get the hover buddy out. And the hover buddy is like my new favorite. I still love the bear, but that's my new favorite. All right, spawn some more in. I'm wasting my hover buddy. Let's go, is that it? I don't know if we got 50 guys. I got two rewards though. All right, got some, I'll take some crystal. Anytime I can get crystal, that's good. How many did we get? Anyway, it's just two crystal. And it looks like we're going to get some crafting, some silver, and some copper. Eh, we didn't really get anything that good. All right. How's the team doing on the encampments? Let's see. I think we're still three of five, so we got to do two more. Ray should have marked the new one by now, but it doesn't look like she did. If you're having trouble finding the encampment, something I like to do. Well, there it is right in front of us. But what you can do is just build up, right? Sometimes I find the encampment and just look for the glow. And as you saw a while ago, a second ago, that one had a glow over it. You can just look around for the glow. That's the best way to do it, I find. And I just took a whole lot of damage. All right, I'll go over here and help this person take out this encampment. Then we'll have one more to go. And it's always fun if you have a team that's willing and you guys just work really hard and you take out all of the bonus encampments too. Man, they get really tough. After you do the first five, you can do bonus encampments. And I guess maybe that increases your chance of getting a uh, better loot chest at the end. But good grief, man. Did they get tough? Yeah, put the bear down. Get a bear. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean what I said, bear. By the way, you're still my favorite. Okay, I was just joking, bear. A bear! Save me! Thank you. Jeez. Dude was lighting me up. Hey, that's uh, something for somebody else. If I pick that up, I think it prevents them from getting credit for it. So I'm not going to do it. I'll be a good guy. I've already collected those. That was for the Blockbuster event. Oh, we got one right here. Last one's right next to it. I say, let's drop some bombs, baby. Take that, boys. Probably should have saved that for the next wave that comes out. The next wave's going to be a pain in the butt. Should have a couple of mist monsters in it, which isn't going to be fun at all because it's going to be the blasters. I'm sure of that, and maybe even a taker as well. The takers, they're, they're, they could be a pain. They, got, they don't have, what is this guy? Do we have a teammate hiding right now? Pretty sure we just had a teammate with us, and now I don't see him anymore. There he go. Did he die? Rat row. All right. Here, do this. That'll take out a good chunk of them. Watch out for those mist monsters. I don't see any though. I think we're good. All right. Do I have a bear ready? Bear is ready for the next wave. God, I hate these freaking bees. They're everywhere right now. Oh, there's our teammates. Okay. I don't know if I was being blind or what, but I did not see any teammates at the start of this wave. But no worries. Maybe he was in the house chasing some down. Because it looks like they're spawning just in weird places. Take this dude out. There we go. Alright, next wave, please. Get ready to drop the bear. Get ready to drop the bear. There's still one in the house, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Gotta kill that one. It should spawn out the rest. Alright. We're ready. There they come. Bear out. And that gave me a chance to get my hover buddy charged back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and spawn him out as well. Just do double damage here. Bear plus hover buddy equals win all day. So the first quest on page 6 out of 13 of Plankerton was to do two Lars defenses. But if you've already seen one Lars defense, then you've seen them all. So we're just going to skip that one for the video's sake and jump into the next one. And this one's called Pump Up the Volume. And we have got to construct six 
relay towers to boost the signal so we can find some more survivors. So if I'm not mistaken, I only ever see these towers in zones that are like, they just come at like one at a time. So potentially I'm gonna have to do six complete missions to complete this one, which really sucks. I'm gonna have to go into six different zones, complete each one of those zones while building one radar tower at a time. It says to do it in a 28 plus zone too. So there's that also. Oh boy. Holy crap. It has been two hours since I started this freaking mission and I'm almost done. I've got five out of the six towers. Oh man. So you have to literally, you have to find the tower, build it really quick. It's not, it's not a big deal. Save the survivor and you get credit for it, right? But then you don't get credit for it until you actually defeat the zone. And there's only one in every... I've had to go to six zones now. Six. More than six. Because sometimes I can't even find a tower to build. Which may be the case right now. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm not seeing it. Sometimes you can get a good look just by building up like this. And just kind of glance around and see if you can find the tower. I might see something over that way. I'm going to head over that way. I No, I just don't think... Maybe, maybe it just didn't render in. So I'm gonna ride around on the hoverboard and see if there's one in this zone. So, 28 plus zone, I've had to do six times now <laughs> for this mission. This is the worst mission ever. It really is. So last week we got to play, or last episode, we got to play the best mission ever. And today is the worst mission ever. And don't worry, if you feel ripped off because I didn't do those two uh, defend the Lars missions, don't worry, this is a Lars zone, so. In order for this last, final, sixth tower to be completed and counted, we have to defend Lars's van, okay? So, you'll get your Lars fixed today if you want it, or not, you're getting it. Oh god, don't fall off the edge. Almost fell off the edge. So we're just gonna kind of cruise around, looking for this small survivor radar tower. They're not very tall, but there is a platform above them that you can see very... Hey, Lars's van, that you can see from across the map, which is why I built up like that, but I didn't see one, so I'm starting to think that maybe we don't have one here. Uh, there was a couple where I could, oh god, oh god. Ooh, when that happens when I'm close to the edge of the map like that, I freak out, because a lot of times I have fallen off, and it is not fun. Storm chest, we'll come back for that, maybe. Maybe if I remember where it's at, it's right here, and it's on the map now, maybe. But also maybe not, there it is, look, so you can see, you can see the platform. All right, the final one's right here, and then that means after I do this, all we have to do is defend Lars' van, and this one's over, and never, ever, 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 ever again am I doing this. I don't care. I'll find hacks. If this is a mission later on, I'll find hacks, and I'll skip it. I'm never doing it again. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying today's video, though. I'm going to be out of town for most of the week, starting on, uh, we'll call it Tuesday. Let me pick up this antenna. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'll be back Friday, but it won't be until Friday night, but... I got a lot of videos pre-recorded that will be scheduled to be released. So um, you won't be missing any content from me. I do want to apologize for the lack of videos last week, but I had some issues at the house that prevented me from recording. So there was literally nothing I could do about it, but I'm here now. Everything's good. We'll catch back up. Don't worry. Don't worry. So you're going to have, if you're a big fan of Fortnite Save the World, you're going to have one every day pretty much for the whole week. So that's good. Let's get, where's the survivor at? There he is. Hey, bud. Oh, that's it. That's six out of six. Let's get out of here. Say something to me, Ray. I did it. Talk to me. Talk to the people. You got nothing to say. I just did that for two hours. You're not even going to talk to us. Oh, my God. As promised, back to the storm chest. Oh, we got a person here, which is great. Oops. I kind of wanted to collect the metal out of that, but oh well. Uh, which is great because then we might have a good chance of getting some good surprises out of this. And I've got me and my bear. And I got me and my hover buddy. So we'll be just fine. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but it wasn't as simple as hopping from zone to zone. Every zone that I went into where I did find a radar to build, I didn't have to complete that zone for it to count. It's ridiculous. I hate this mission. This is the worst thing ever. And I just want to stop playing Fortnite. I've been playing it all day now. And I'm sick of it. I'm starting to think. I don't care if the rest of the team showed up. Just start it. <laughs> You're going to be mad now. We can do it. Don't worry. We can do it. All right. We can do it. Don't worry. I got stuff you got. Look. Yeah, it's two Outlanders. We got this for sure. Well, that's not going to help, Lagan. How about a gun? How about a gun? I'll throw up my little uh, hover buddy in a second. I feel like that person's wasting theirs right now because 
We've got two bears out. That's kind of ridiculous. You don't need your hover buddy. Now it's wasted. You could have waited for the bears to go away, and then you could have used it. How dare you? How dare you? You messed it all up. Right, I'm going to throw mine up now. There we go. And let's throw one of these down somewhere, just in case that actually helps. Who knows? Oh, yeah. I hear it shocking. Shock something. All right. Go, go, go. Nice. Did we get good rewards? I don't know. Let's see. We got some of that. Oh, did I get a legendary something? I think maybe I did. Let's check this out. It was a legendary something. Yeah, I didn't have this as legend. I didn't have that either. Hunter Killer and Terminator. I think were the new ones I just got. Let's put the Terminator down here. Let's say goodbye to the crossbow. That wasn't even the crossbow anyways. But say goodbye to that thing. Yo, we got the LMG, the Terminator. Get you the chopper. Except that's the Predator. But it's fine. Here, let's use it. Okay, I got it. I mean, you know, it's, it's, I think it's 47 power. So it's a little weak. A little weak for my likings, you know, because most of the guns I use are in the 50s, but whatever. High 50s, almost 60s, but whatever. I'm going to go over to Lars's van now, and I don't give a crap what anybody else is on this map is doing. I am going to go build a defense, and I'm starting it. I'll be with you guys in just a minute. Well, let's hope for the best, guys, because I don't know if, my, if the other players on the map are ready for this, but it's happening. So this is what I built, just a box around the van. Two levels high, in case the skull throwers come. Upgraded both levels to tier three. Then I did my outside wall here. But then, that's right, I totally didn't realize you could do half floors that make this cool, like, wall. And so now we have another la layer of defense, something I usually don't add. So I saw someone do that on a mission I was doing earlier. I'm like, wow, that's actually really smart. So there we have it. New build from your boy, Lagoon. I'm starting it, and I don't really give a crap. All right, do what I want. Reset it, confirm it. Let's go. Defend the van. They're all coming from this way. Great. They're going to be dropping down right on top of the base. Fantastic. Totally thought this one through. All right. We'll start out with a bear and hope the teammates just show up eventually. How's that? How's that for a plan today? Let's just go with that. Hope for the best. Maybe some traps would have been nice too, but I don't know. We got a teammate who's down on the map. So I don't have high hopes for this, but wouldn't that be a shame if I did all six of those things and then this one fails... I fail the defense, and we don't get credit for that last radar. I should be more patient. I should totally have waited for my teammates, right? Oh, God, what happened? There's a big lag spike, and I don't know what caused it. All right, here comes some more baddies. Let's get them. It looks like Draco might be on his way over to help out, which would be lovely. Thanks, Draco, for showing up. I, I hate when people start missions super early, <laughs> but here I am. I'm doing it now, all right? Just deal with it. I, w I might use the LMG a little bit, but this one's way stronger and since I'm kind of by myself for the moment. I figure we... Okay, that's not what I wanted to do at all, but how about that instead? We'll do that. Oh, good. All right. So same person helped me out with the Storm Shield, so we got another Outlander. Good. I'll cover this side. Let her cover that side. Hopefully, she stays over there. I'll stay over here. Bada boom, bada bam, bam. We'll be defended. We got about a minute and a half left on the first half of the defense, but as you know, with the Lars defense, it will give you a brief break to fix stuff, and then you add some more blue glow. Well, I guess the break's as long as you want to, so you add the blue glow, which means I gotta go out and get some more blue glow. And then it starts over again, and it'll be about a four-minute defense, I think, for the second half, so... Eh, not too bad. I don't think we have an epic mini-boss. I hope not. This thing's wreck, man. Since we're at level 28, I think the highest I can play on right now is a 30-something. I think it's like a 32 I can play on right now. Uh, so we're starting to get up there in power for our missions. So things are definitely getting much, much stronger. My poor bear's having to work overtime. Now get on, bear! You know what to do. How we doing over here, Draco? You all right? I got you. I'll help. I got a bear. The bear's helping a little bit. Take care of the rest. I'll take care of this. 40 seconds left. No problem. I am kind of out of materials, though. I do have a little bit of brick and just a little bit of metal. But I have plenty back in my storage. Uh-oh. Someone breaking in somewhere? Oh, big guy coming in. Big guy's here. What's up, big man? We're dead. I should stick to the plan, right? And defend my side. And just trust. Trust in the teammate lagging. There we go. There we go. And you're done. You're done. Just one, sh one headshot will do it. Oh, he's dead. And now we wait. Oh. Do I even? Do I have enough time to get this killed? Yes, I do. Good, good, good. Gotta kill those mist monsters, man. I'm on Eldridge Abomination Stage 20. I gotta kill a hundred of those things to get a prize. It's insane. I've killed so many mist monsters over the time we've been playing. 
Hopefully, I think Draco might have some blue glow. Because I think he's trying to find a way in. You just got to make a door, bud. Right there. That's a good way to do it. Right there. Right there. Right at the front. There you go. Perfect. So updated storm intel. Where are they coming from now? Looks like the same. Kind of the same way. I mean, the husk could have moved up top, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like I've got the same over here. We got a couple other guys that are still not joining us for the fight, but he may accidentally get involved because he's here now. And those husks just spawned right on top of him. So whether you want to help or not, brother, you're helping now. Is he leaving? Yeah, I think he just dipped out. <laughs> he's just not going to help with the defense. I should go back to my side, though. I should go back to my side. I, Okay, Draco, swap. Swap it out. All right, good call, Draco. Good call. No, 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 no. Got him, got him. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. I hate those propane guys when they throw the propane tank. It does so much damage to the walls. So much. You want to swap back again, Draco? I like Draco. Draco's good, a good player. He gets it. Totally gets it. Is this thing dead yet? There it goes. Nice. Nice. Oh, I'll take him out, Bear. Good one. So I noticed that with my SMG, I can't seem to shoot that tank and cause an explosive. But with an AR, it seems like you can, which is pretty cool. I don't know why it won't, like, register with an SMG, but I noticed that yesterday. I thought that was pretty weird. Yeah, I'll get you little munchkins. Come on up. Oh, God! I was joking. Leave me alone. It was a joke. Don't come on up. All right, let's use the hover buddy next time you spawn out. See, you're getting, Draco's getting all the... What? Did you, where did you just come from? There's a flinger up there. I know it. That was 100% a zombie being thrown. Uh-oh, Draco is AFK for a moment. Here, I'll put up a hover buddy and cover this side. He's back, he's back. Uh-oh, that's what I get, that's what I get. You miserable punk. Look what you did. Bad. I fixed it. I fixed it, all good. All right, we got a bear. We'll put the bear here for now. Dude, they're bringing the propane guys pretty hard today. Look at that guy. Almost made it, bud. Almost made it, but not even close. There's a flinger. I knew there was a flinger around somewhere. All right, what's the best way to kill this? I don't have anything slotted as far as melee goes. I mean, I can swap really quick. Well, here, just drop some bombs on him. Hit him with some bullets. Maybe, maybe even shock him a little bit. You want to get shocked, buddy? There you go. Get a little zap. There you go. Zap him. Zap him. Like a bug. Like a bug. Got him. Flinger down. Oh, some data sample for somebody. That'll help somebody out. Probably one of the guys not helping us at all. Glad I can help them, though. Hopefully everyone uh, remembered to tell their mom Happy Mother's Day yesterday. I almost forgot. If you're American. I don't know when other countries celebrate Mother's Day. I know they do it at a different time in England, I believe. But over here in the U.S., at least in the U.S., uh, it was Mother's Day Sunday. I did not forget. Hopefully you didn't forget it. Your mom's going to be mad. Woo, she's going to be mad. We're almost done. we got 40 seconds left of this defense. No problem. Get these little guys off. There we go. Do I have anything I can use for a little bit of fun? Yeah, we got our shock toy. Our shock thing coming back up. But I'm not getting big swarms over on this side. Here, I'll do this anyways. Oh, and now they bring out a bunch of little guys. Oh, you guys are going to make it, aren't you? How about that? How about that? I missed on purpose. Twice I missed on purpose. All right. Oh, too soon, too soon. Let's get the thrower. Here comes the little dudes. What's up, little dudes? And someone's going to get punched. Boom. In the face. That's it, boys. Have at it. Because you ain't getting in in two seconds. The end. Thank God. This mission is over. Level 5 loot chest. Open it up. Open it up. We got 1900 hero XP. We've got the transform schematic for epic shotguns, which is cool. It means... I'll, I'll explain that another time when I actually do one. And we got some lightning in a bottle. We got 71 gold. And we completed our main quest... So let's see what Ray has to say about that. Good work. Let's see if they tune in. That's it. Good work. Let's see if they tune in. Con just great. Somebody wanted to see my Survivor squad. So if you leave a comment down below asking me to show you something specific, I'll be more than happy to. As far as explaining this, though, I get it, but I don't. I mean, like, look. So we got the EMT squad here on the left. I made sure that the leader was a match, meaning she had some sort of qualifications in healing so there you go that got a check mark then i made sure the three people i picked next to her all matched personality so he says it says three out of seven we have seven slots available to put survivors in we only have three slots unlocked right now all three of those 
personality does match the leader. So we get a bonus for that. And then your shield bonus, two of those guys, two out of two for the shield bonus. And the health bonus is one out of two. So I could swap one and possibly get two out of two health bonus. And if you just go down the list, the thing I focused on the most was the leader match and the personality match. And so that's the way it is all the way down the line, except for these last two, the scouting party and the think tank. Both the leaders don't match because I don't have survivors that match right now. So I'm just waiting to get the right survivors to throw them in the leader spot of these two uh, parties. And there you go. That's a look at the survivor squad. And by doing this, and I think it raises your power level. And you definitely want to be leveling up your survivors because that will also increase your power level. Now over to the loot llamas. Look, I got myself a mini llama. I'm going to open up two of these guys and get pretty much nothing out of them. But... Some XP is usually what I get that I like. And then sometimes I'll get like tickets or gold, which is cool. Yeah, there's some gold. I'll take that. And 500 schematic XP. I'll take that too. One more mini llama. And then we'll take a look at what llama we can buy today. See if there's something worth it. I'm not opening the blockbuster llamas for a little bit until they update the blockbuster mission. So we got, I think, a total of 1,000 schematic XP that time. We did. Very good. Very good. I'm just going to buy one upgrade llama today. Just one upgrade llama. Let's see if we can get it to upgrade. Just do it. You're a jerk. You're a real jerk. You know that llama, but at least give me something good. Something I don't have. Something that I can... Okay, I didn't have 50. I didn't have 50 of those tickets, so thank you, I guess. Got a couple of survivors. Neither one of them are leaders, so that sucks. But we could always get rid of them for some more survivor XP. And I can probably get rid of both those things and maybe even put them in my collection book. But that's going to do it today. For episode number 29 of Fortnite, save the world. And don't forget, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. The playlist is right down below. Take a look at the sponsors while you're down there as well. If you want to become a YouTuber and you wonder how I record, you guys can check out Elgato. If you're thirsty and want some energy, we got G Fuel down there. If you're looking for some grips for your controllers, we got Control Freak down there. So you guys check out all the sponsors down below. And I will see you uh, next time.